Hello everyone, my name is C. A. Neha Garwal from BISP Solutions and in today's video, I will be giving you an overview of the financial structure. So financial structure setup include the rapid implementation, chart of accounts, value sets, general ledger security, cross validation rules, related value sets, account hierarchies and account combinations, accounting calendars, currencies, and currency daily rates or the conversion rate types. So before understanding what are the financial structure setups required in Oracle Fusion applications, let us understand the figure which illustrates the flow of enterprise structure setup. So the legal entities incurred transactions which are identified by the business units with the business functions assigned to them. And these transactions are recorded in the sub ledgers which are transferred to ledgers using the sub ledger accounting methods. This ledger is characterized by calendar, currency, chart of accounts. A chart of accounts consists of segments, some of which are assigned the labels as cost centers, natural accounts, and other segments, including the primary balancing segment. The legal entities can be assigned the primary balancing segment values. So this is the enterprise structure flow, which can be managed through the financial structure setups. Majorly, these are, these are the components of the financial structure setup. So rapid implementation, chart of account structure, general ledger security, cross validation rules, related value sets, accounting hierarchies and combinations, accounting calendars, currencies, conversion rate types. We have to define these setups in the system to manage the flow of enterprise structure setup. So uh, on each of the topic, there will be an individual video, but to understand what does these terms mean, we can refer the following slides. Rapid implementation. We can use the rapid implementation for general ledger workbook template to rapidly implement the common setup objects for enterprise structure, such as chart of accounts, accounting hierarchies, calendar, legal entities, business units, primary ledger, and other related setups. So through these rapid implementation worksheets, we can implement these uh, chart of accounts, accounting hierarchies, calendar, etc. But before creating these, we should carefully design and determine these setup objects. We will download a workbook from the Oracle applications and after filling the required information or the objects, we will uh, upload the spreadsheet into the system and our chart of accounts, primary ledgers, legal entities, etc., will be created through that sheet. Moving further comes the chart of account structure. The basic chart of account structure defines the account values, segments, their level, levels and rules relating to the security and validation. Account combination link the values in the segment together and provide the accounting mechanism to capture financial transaction. So chart of account structure defines the number and attributes of various segments, which can include the order of the segments, its width, prompt, segment levels, and other details relating to the segments of the CVS structure. Basically, these segments are the components of the account combination. So uh, in chart of account, we have to understand one thing that these are most import important component in the fusion application and they should be carefully defined. Then comes the general ledger security. General ledger functions and data are secured through the job rules, data access sets, 
and segment value security rules. There are some predefined job roles for managing general ledger securities. These job roles have direct privileges which corresponds to their responsibilities. To these roles, the data access set is assigned, which controls the data security. These job roles are general accounting manager, general accounting, financial analyst. So what we do in the system, we create a user and to that user, we assign these roles and to uh, those roles, we assign the data access set to maintain the general ledger security. Then comes the cross-validation rules. Cross-validation rules determine a valid account combinations that can be dynamically created as users enter transactions or general entries. It determines whether a selected value for a particular segment of an account combination can be combined with specific value in other segments to form a new account combination. To understand this, we'll refer an example Say your organization has determined that company named operations cannot use the cost center marketing. So you can define a cross validation rule such that if a company is operation, then validate that the cost center is not marketing. New count combinations have to satisfy all the cross validation rules enabled for a chart of account before they can be created. So this way cross validation rules are defined in the system. Then comes the related value sets. Related value sets define dependencies between two segments in a chart of accounts to ensure that only valid combinations are used during data entry. Related value sets are the independent type of value sets whose values are related to another independent type value sets. With related value sets, a chart of account segment value, choice list automatically displays a list of related values based on what value was selected in the pre preceding segment. Moving further comes the account hierarchies and combination. Account hierarchy is defined as a tree with one or more versions. Tree versions are used to track account hierarchies as they change over time. Trees are hierarchical data models that can be used to organize data, apply business rules, control data access, and improve performing performance while querying. So basically, what is account hierarchies? It is used to create a parent-child relationship within the chart of account values. These values can be associated with multiple hierarchies by defining multiple trees. For example, we can use different hierarchies to track cost center either by geography or by line of business. An accounting combination are the combinations that contain complete set of segment values that uniquely identifies an account in a chart of accounts. So for example, if there is a account combination, say 1000-200-555. So, and our segments are company, department, and accounts. So 1000 will denote the company, 200 will denote the department, and 55 can be a code of any account. So this way, the combinations can be set, which is termed as the account combinations. Then comes the account accounting calendar. Accounting calendar is created in the system to create the accounting year and the period it contains. We specify common calendar option that the application uses to automatically generate a calendar with its period. So we can maintain calendars in Fusion applications with many pre period frequ frequencies. These can be monthly, weekly, quarterly, yearly. When we select these frequency, our calendar will be automatically generated and we will not need to create the calendar manually. Talking about currencies, currencies, uh, 
can be predefined in the fusion applications and uh, uh, usd is set as the default currency in the system we can create or enable any currency for displaying monetary amounts assigning currencies to ledgers entering transactions recording balances or for any record uh, reporting purposes and these currencies are listed in the international organization for standardization if we require we can create and edit currencies by entering the currency code data a uh, date range or symbol for that currencies conversion rate type in oracle fusion applications uh, we can use currency conversion rates between the two between any two currencies we can maintain different conversion rates between currencies for the same period using conversion rate types we can use these different rate types for different business needs there are some predefined conversion rate types in the system which are spot rate corporate rate user and fixed rate type this read uh, these rate types can be used to automatically assign rates and perform some specific functions in the general ledger applications so these were few components of the financial structure setups and uh, to individually understand them we can refer the uh, upcoming videos so thank you for watching Thank you.